Debbie from Spectral Researchers of Central Florida. Here in a house that we came to recently, um, did a little joint investigation with Robert. We're here for our loans. Robert's already been in. Jay's already been in from um, the journey to the destination. Make sure you check his video out too. All right, I'm gonna uh, see if we can get anything. The guy said he was very quiet, so I'm not really expecting a lot, but you never know. All right, guys, let me know if you see anything or hear anything. Hello. My name is Debbie. I've been here before. I don't mean any harm or disrespect. Just want to talk to you. Is anybody here that would like to talk? It's very, very quiet in here tonight, apparently. You guys have had no luck. Nothing on the SLS even. Well, I know that somebody's here. Do we have a little hit on them, I'll meet her. Billy? Who's here? Do we have a mother and daughter here? I'd love to see you. Could you come out and say hello to me? Very, very quiet tonight. Did we scare you away? Oh, my light just went out. Wonder why my light went out. I'm currently using the same light that Robert uses. Let's put the eddy on the floor. Not the eddy, the millimeter. Hello. I'd love, love, love you to come and say hello to me. Don't be afraid. Nothing that I have will, will hurt you. Nothing will harm you. It's a very cool old house. Robert said it's a shotgun house because you can see from the back door all the way to the front. So who's here with me tonight? Sweet little cat box. Somebody like cats? You left all your beautiful artwork. I know somebody's here. You're just hiding from me. Aren't you? You hiding? Well, somebody's been here since the last time we were here. Because some things are in different places. There's an extra bat. <laughs> we brought a bat in from the shed outside, which is full of things that got left behind. And somebody's been hitting that. I don't think that was like that. unusual closet let me say hello Billy Mary I don't know what that was did you hear that guys when I said Mary it was like a knocking sound I don't know if it was a Consequence of me walking, making a noise. Mary, Mary Knight, are you here with us? I'm going to adjust the SLS. Mary? Are you here? Thought I heard something behind me. 
but that window's out. So it could have been a bug or something. Mary, I just want you to come and say hello to me. I know you're here. We saw you last time you were here. You're hiding so well, though. Hello. Very pleased to meet you. Are you Mary? My name is Debbie. Well, actually, it's Deborah, but my friends call me Debbie. Do you mind me being here? I hope I'm not disturbing you. Oh, my light went out. <laughs> and the figure went. I don't know if they were trying to tell me something or if they took power from my, needed the energy from my light. Let's switch it back on. Okay. Mary, if that's you or whoever it is, Come back, please. Come and say hello again. Feeling queasy, feeling sick. That usually means something's close by to me, I think. Starting to know the signs. Mary? Billy? Come on. Don't be shy. You know I'm not here to hurt you. I know I'm probably annoying you being here at night so late. Oh, I'm six minutes in, guys. Still got a little ways to go. All right, I I'm not quite sure where the... Oh, there's the Eddie. Let's go to the Eddie and bring it into the kitchen. I feel like the kitchen is the most active. Well, should we stay here for a minute, guys? living room. Robert called this the living room. I guess it is. Oh, there's a dead frog. I'm not sitting there. The dead frog. I was going to sit there. <laughs> I'm glad I saw the dead frog. Is this your living room? Did you spend your last days in this living room in that bed? Very quiet, peaceful house. But I've heard little things here and there. And what I thought was a whisper behind my, over my shoulder. Plus, we did meet somebody very briefly on the SLS. I'm gonna go put the, the Eddie over here. All right. I love your cookie jar. Are there any cookies? Okay. I did hear a sound and I turned around to it. And then my stomach gurgled afterwards. So that little gurgle sound was my stomach. Just so you know, guys. If my stomach gurgles, which it tends to do, I do always make a note. <laughs> so if you ever hear anything and you think it's my stomach gurgling, if I didn't mention it was my stomach, it probably wasn't. And Robert tends to mention it too if his that was my foot on this hanger. I do have quite a noisy stomach. It's very hot. Mary, could you switch the air on? I'm awfully hot. The blue box. Could you make the lights shiny and bright for me? Could you make the lights go off for me? Go and touch it or go close. I'll step away. If you would like me to leave now, 
stuck close to the blue box and make the blue lights blow off. And I will leave straight away. As soon as I see a blue light, I will leave. If you don't see a blue light, I'll take it that you don't mind me staying a little while. Oh, my light went off and there we have a figure very briefly at the same time. Let me switch my light up. Are you able to make that light go blue? If you want me to leave? You only have to step near it. You won't have to do much and it won't hurt you. I promise. Ten minutes in, guys. I step back. See if you can make the blue light light up. Heard something. I don't know if that's in the house or outside because some of the windows on the one side of the house are out. And although this is my lone challenge, the guys are outside in the cars. So I'm not totally alone. And Kevin gifted us a, a nice big stun gun. <laughs> For safety, just in case. <laughs> Mary, have you had some visitors recently besides me and my friends? Do you get many visitors, Mary? This is a beautiful home, Mary. Did all your children and grandchildren come to live here with you or just come to visit you often? I imagine holidays were wonderful in this house. In this big kitchen. We had big family holiday dinners. Thanksgiving and Christmas would be amazing. Did you have animals on your property? I love the wood panels. Thank you for allowing me to spend some time with you. I know it's rather of a, uh, an intrusion of me. That's very cute. Teacup, tea light, I like that a lot. That's very nice, that's, that's, I would like one like that. <laughs> into that one room back there. Let's try that one room, guys. Cockroaches everywhere. This is almost like an add-on. Very, very much for letting me spend some time with you. I'll switch the SLS off, guys, because it's about that time to wrap up. Hi, right, I'm sorry I'm a bit out of breath tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. The air is really muggy. Oh, my light just went off. <laughs> All right, Mary, Billy, thank you very much. I enjoyed spending time with you. 
hope it wasn't too much of an intrusion. Thank you for allowing my friends to visit. I'm going to leave you in peace now and leave your house. And I hope I've left it the way I found it and stood anywhere that you didn't want me to stand. Stood on anything and broken anything. I have some precious memories here. Alright. Okay, guys. Let me know if you're here. Do I saw anything that I didn't? Um, see if any of you can hear the whisper that I thought I heard, please. Um, I'm not real good at hearing things with headphones, but Jaffo and Megan and Uncle Mike, you guys are really good at it. So thank you and uh, keep safe, guys. I love you all.